talk of the show has been Adapt. Adapt won the uh, the startup contest last night. There were 10 finalists. Adapt was chosen as the, the most innovative. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're here with Ming Sheng Hong, who is the chief data scientist, and uh, Philip Wickline, who's the CTO of Adapt. And one of the big things that Adapt has talked about is bringing together the worlds of SQL and NoSQL and also enabling uh, the integration of other tools so that people can actually access these capabilities and bring them to larger audiences. One of those tools being the visualization tools from companies like uh, Tableau and other capabilities. And that's really what Hadap's been focusing on. So first of all, welcome gentlemen. Oh, thank Pre you. Appreciate thank you, you guys coming on. So we've got a demo. Uh, so uh, I guess, t why don't you guys set up the demo uh, and then we'll get right into it. Great. Um, so while Ming Chen gets that, that going, I'll just give you a little bit of an overview. So we've been spending a lot of time uh, working on interactive speed queries, bringing that to the Hadoop world, something it's not really had previously. Uh, but also, we're really focused on bringing this into the enterprise and connecting to enterprise BI tools and other things in that ecosystem that really matter and make it viable for people there. Um, but uh, what you'll also see during the demo you know, you'll see us using uh, Tableau, which is you know a, a great new tool that everyone's using these days. Uh, but you'll also see us bringing in other sorts of analyses into that world uh, through our Adapt Development Kit, and Ming Sheng will talk about that as we go through. So putting some advanced capabilities in uh, that, that feed the analyses, the visualizations that we see. Are, are you ready to go? Sure. All right, take it away, Ming Sheng. Okay, so let me just uh, describe the setting a little bit. So as Philip described earlier, this is showing some of the new capabilities that we are adding to Hadap 2.0, released uh, last week. And let me uh, introduce the demo setting for you. So as you see, we have the on the front end the Tableau BI setup, but you also see the full back panel as the bo uh, at the bottom, just to give you the feel that you know this is lifting the curtain of the demo and see what's behind the scene. So here we have a Hadap log, which is basically showing you all the querying and real-time loading activities we're doing on Hadap. Then we have a data loading window, which is showing you all the incremental data we are loading into Hadap while doing the querying. So everything is happening at the same time. Then we have what we call Tableau JDBC listener that really shows you all the SQL queries being generated by Tableau. So in a moment, when I show you activities with Tableau, you will see a lot of queries being generated and processed by Hadapt, and you will appreciate the interactivity there. So these are running native inside your platform, essentially. That's exactly right. right. That's yep. So that's being integrated, and for the specific demo setting, this is my Mac laptop, but we're running a single node Li Linux virtual machine hosting the Hadap backend, and another Windows virtual machine showing uh, Tableau. So definitely the main focus here is not scalability. Right. Of course, based on Hadoop, we have inherited the scalability skills. We have customers running with you know, dozens of terabytes, right? It's MPP uh, type of scalability. But the point of the demo here is also it's agile, it's nimble. You can show everything within a laptop setting, right? It's, it doesn't need millions of dollars of uh, hardware infrastructure. Right, okay. at, at least no one has offered me a million dollars <laughs> to, to buy so the So you don't laptop. need big iron. To <laughs> to no, that's maybe that's Larry will yeah, buy right. this <laughs> for a million dollars, I don't know. But <laughs> so that's the setting. Uh, finally, the last window is actually Mahout log. So, so lots of you might know that Mahout is one of the popular Hadoop-based machine learning engines that we have also integrated with Hadoop. We have integrated with Hadapt. So you don't need to be a big data scientist to leverage this tool. You can actually you know, just click through the Tableau UI to invoke very sophisticated analytics, such as sentiment analysis that I will show you in a moment. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. So I, as a business analyst, can just refresh the dashboard, pay attention to the you know, dashboard being rendered in real time, just a couple seconds of time. So now if I want to draw into a specific area, let's say I the New York City. I just want to jump in there and point Please. out that, yep. that, that it was actually a query going back into Hadoop, mm -hmm. getting processed and turned around in real time. You know, yep. A lot okay. of people are used to Hadoop as a batch processing system, but we really brought it forward you know, to something that can handle this sort of interactive exploratory work. Yeah. Okay. If you were to connect a BI tool with a Hadoop backend based up on the batch-oriented system, you have to wait for you know, 10 minutes or even longer. That's not the interactive BI experience people know of. But if you click, you know, drill into uh, one of the um, 
you know, market uh, cities that you're analyzing, then we are really rendering the advanced the dashboard here. So in this business scenario, I am the business analyst, want to understand the market trending of my energy drink product with my competitors, right? So I see New York City turning incredibly red uh, a moment ago. So now I can draw into it and understand what's causing the change. So the first uh, graph here showing you, okay, that's the revenue of my product in the recent past, and the trend has been stable. So that's not the reason. But on the upper right corner, you see the social bus of my product compared to my competitors. And there's a huge spike with my competitor's product. So that enables me to draw into it. So let's say I uh, select this win uh, time window, and uh, it goes and uh, grabs the real tweets uh, mentioning my competitor's product uh, within that time window, right? So this is the power of Hadap. You start with high level aggregation, you draw into raw data, all the raw bits, the individual tweets, all within one platform, yeah. right? And um, social buzz, what is that? Well, it's not really a standard function available in SQL or MapReduce. This is something that you know the data scientists or developers can build. And uh, I haven't done the detailed research, but my intuition tells me only 10,000 people in the world have the expertise to do it. The beauty of Hadapt is once they do it once, right? They package it up as a standard SQL function, which can then be exposed to BI tools such as Tableau, so that now millions of BI users, the business analysts, can just invoke the sophisticated analysis like social buzz, social sentiment, by clicking buttons, drag and dropping things. Yeah. And this is a critical part of our strategy. We think it's really important to you know, extend the basics of what you can do with SQL analytics with, you know, all of the advanced sorts of uh, analytics that people are doing in a Hadoop-like platform, enable that uh, in a form that, you know, more business-oriented and SQL-oriented users can, can access. Can you guys talk about, just paint a picture of what it would be like if I did this um, sort of previous to your announcement, previous to Hadapt? How, what would I have to go through to achieve what you just showed? Sure, so you know, all of these capabilities might be available to you, but you'd probably be cobbling together a whole bunch of different systems. You'd be, you know, to, to get this buzz analysis that, that uh, Ming Sheng's talking about, you would have had to custom write that probably as a map reduce job, do that as a batch oriented thing, enrich your data, probably export that data into some external database where you can serve up sort of, you know, real time uh, querying like this. So you'd be pulling all of these systems together, you'd need specialized programming skills, you know, map reduce type Java skills and so forth. We're, we're giving this to you in a package that really is targeted at the enterprise and at the sort of staff and, and capabilities that they have, uh, you know, to make this something they can deploy and get these kinds of value, this value out of rapidly, easily, uh, with their existing tools, with their in existing infrastructure. And, and when will this capability be available in the marketplace? This will be available in our version two, which is uh, slated for Q1 of next year. Excellent. All right, good. Well, thanks very much for taking the time to show us that demo. Congratulations on uh, your victory last night. And oh, thank uh, you. hopefully many more victories in the marketplace. All right, thank you All very right. much. Pleasure. Thank you very uh, much. Okay, keep it right there. We'll be back with our next guest. We're live from the Strata plus a Duke World Conference in New York City. This is theCUBE. I'm Dave Vellante. We'll be right back. We lift out all the